Hey, this is Adam. We're talking today about what your first game should be. And I have a lot of people viewing my video, a ton of people. It's crazy. A video about why everyone wants to be a game developer, but nobody actually becomes one. Uh, and obviously I was being hyper hyperbolic there. Some people think they're like, obviously people do become game developers because you know, there are games. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I get that. Anyway, the internet's crazy. One of my big quirks in the video is everyone, when I wanted to know, everybody just goes, make a game. And even extra credits, they're like, how do you become a game developer? They're like, make a game. And I was like, that's just not helpful advice. And that's one of the big gripes of that video is how that's not helpful advice. Because the game you want to make is way, 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 way harder than a game you can actually make if you don't have any skills in making games. And if you're thinking, I want to make a game, but I don't know where to get started, I want to help you get started. This is not a tutorial, but this is kind of like, hey, I'm going to help you give a mental model of what your first game should actually look like. With that mental model, you'll actually kind of know where to go next. Do you know about computers? That's my first question for you. If somebody says file type, do you know what that means? If the answer is no, learn a bit more about computers. You don't have to be a full IT professional at all, but you really do have to understand just like computers and file types and memory and things like that. Like when somebody talks about four gigs versus eight gigs, you need to have a good understanding of what that means. If you don't have an understanding, uh, just a basic understanding, like an operating understanding of the computer fundamentals, um, then that's where you need to start because this is definitely application development. It is not just uh, funsies time. Here's another problem. People don't actually want to help you because you suck at making games. You have all these dreams and you have no ability to accomplish it. So the people who do have ability to accomplish it are trying to work with other people who have the ability to accomplish it to make their own dreams happen. The people who don't have any ability are trying to work with other people who don't have any ability and nothing happens. That's one of the big hurdles is, is it's really hard to do it alone, but nobody wants to help you until you actually know what you're doing. What should you do next? You know a basic amount about computers. What should you do next? And the next is learn programming. I can tell you that knowing programming is super Super important because I use it all the time 100% is 90% of what I'm doing is actually just programming stuff and you do need to know how to do application programming so a lot of people in the comments of that other video they're like hey I know web development I know web development and I would say that's a good start because it is programming in a sense but web developments really mark up languages what they're doing is you're telling the computer where to put things and maybe where to put things in optional scenarios but the programming you do isn't application programming which is the kind of programming you do in in um, video games so for example PHP. When I first started learning PHP, my friend was like, put the line in. And I was like, what? What? And they're like, you just do that. And I'm like, how would it know to do that? Because it's got to create a variable. And he was like, PHP is weird. And he was like, if, if you just tell PHP to do something, it does it when the page loads. And it just passes information through the URL. And I was like, what? It was just like bizarre to me because I'm used to having declare a variable. You can declare that there's a string. The string is called string one. And uh, you can say string one is equal to my name, Adam. You can give it a command. You can say print string one and it'll print ADAM. And so with PHP, it doesn't work that way. And so when you're doing web development, unless you're doing advanced web development, you're not learning the kinds of things that make applications. So what I would suggest next is learn how to program an application. Now, a console application, something simple. Try to do something you can make in an afternoon. And this is my rule. If you think you can make it in an afternoon, it's probably going to take you more than one afternoon. But that's where you need to start. Pick something you can make in an afternoon. Find out that it's actually going to take four afternoons. Actually finish it. So if you're like, I have no idea how to make a console program, boom. Try to figure out how to print a hello world script. It's going to take you an afternoon. But once you get used to pulling up your IDE, once you like learn what an IDE is and you learn, there's so many things. People are just like, we'll just learn how to program. It's like, that's, you know, like there's a whole world of programming they have to jump into. What is an IDE? It's, uh, you know, it's a thing, it's a program that helps you program. But um, people don't know that. They don't want language they want. I highly suggest C Sharp or C++. Even though I love C Sharp as a language, I learned it first. And I don't do a ton of application development. I've made a few different things. Mostly I just learned application development so I could learn Unity. But but I, I did do some separate application development 
on my own, learn how to make a palindrome checker and stuff. Like, you know, you type in a thing and it tells you if it's a palindrome or not. Fun little things like that. Learning how to make a basic application is super important. So people say make a game and that's not true. It's make, make a hello world script is where you need to start, which means just have, get into a computer, run code that prints hello world. And if you can do that, that's step one. And then slowly learn, get courses, whatever you need to do, learn how to do some basic application development. Game. Now you think, what if, I just had someone else program it for me. That would work if you were somebody like the guys who made Hollow Knight. They worked very hard with uh, simpler game creation stuff, but they eventually needed a higher programmer when they moved to Unity, or, or not higher, when they got one on their team. Uh, and that worked great because they already had a lot of awesome fancy work to show for it. Do you have awesome fancy work to show? If you have awesome fancy work people want to jump on board, you might be able to get a programmer to come help you. So you're probably going to be having to do your own dirty work, which is programming, learn how to make a hell world script. So C++ and C Sharp are very, they're very common, common languages and a lot of different things. Either one you learn is great. If you're planning on Unity, C Sharp. If you're planning on um, Unreal, C++, uh, e learning either one is going to steer you in the right direction because they're so similar. I mostly use blueprints with Unreal now though, even though I learned C Sharp. And the reality is that people are like, oh, you don't need to program if you ha have blueprints from Unreal. That is bullcrap. I am programming all the time. I have to understand what the scripts are doing, how they're referring to each other, and how they look for information between each other. If I didn't understand that, I tried before. Before I learned how to program, I opened up Unreal, unsuccessful, even following tutorials. Just did not uh, even know how to troubleshoot my own code. Now I'm pretty successful about getting the little things I want to make. And the reason I'm able to do that is because I actually have learned how to program so I understand the kinds of things I'm doing. But if you start making an application and you think, okay, I'm ready to make a game, a very logical next step is making a text um, text adventure because uh, that teaches you a lot about like putting it together in a coherent process, uh, number guessing games, stuff like that as a place to go next. And you're like, those aren't any fun. I know, but like, it's just what you got to do. It's just how you learn. It's just the process. Once you kind of do that dirty work, then you're thinking, okay, now what's my first real game? I would say kind of learn how to do some of those kinds of basic things in the engines that you're picking up. It's going to be different because the engines are huge. I've not used Godot, but I have used Unity and I use Unreal mostly. And I can tell you that the engines are made for giant, giant, giant games. And they're made with tons and tons and tons of tools. And that's not something that you're just going to be able to pick up and know everything instantly. But instead, try to learn some small things and you'll pick up more and more tools that the engine offers eventually. I have a guide about how to use Unreal for the first time if you want to like I teach Steven how to use Unreal and you kind of get an over the shoulder view of me teaching him how to do like an actual game project. And it's just something super simple because it's just getting familiarity with like how the tools work and what to ignore because there's a lot of it you won't be using or touching and what to not ignore, what's important to use. And um, that's kind of the next step is what do you think you can make in an afternoon if you think you can make a text box that changes the text based off um, a button you press? And that's going to take you all afternoon. That's what you need to make. So for this last video, I did a, a Pac-Man VR. And I thought, oh, it'd be fun. I bet I could make that in an afternoon. And it took me four days. Um, but I learned a lot. And I started because I thought I could make it in an afternoon. And if you kind of leave that as your scope, thing before you start something think can I make this an afternoon if the answer is yes try it it won't take an afternoon it'll take more than an afternoon but you'll learn a lot and you might actually finish it and then uh, do you think you can learn an afternoon try it that's your first game so I hope you're able to get a little inspiration from this video some help uh, in getting started I do lots of game development stuff on this channel uh, Steven does some stuff too and we're working to uh, make our own games, I've got a, a, a better backyard game um, in the process of trying to release. I've got some free games and stuff you can check out on my Itch channel too. So thank you so much for watching. Like this video helps you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. This has been Adam with Space Duck, I guess. We'll see if you guys hate that name or not. See you guys next time.